consumers across the U.S. are feeling the squeeze. I think I just filled my car up for like $50, $55, something like that. It's really expensive. It's the result of surging inflation. Prices are up 6.2% compared to last year, a rise not seen since 1990. Bucks. The cost uh, for gas there, has gone way. up this month after key. month. Well, it's probably like 25, 30% more. And, uh, you know, I could use that savings to do other things. Grocery prices are way up too. I used to shop based on what I like. Now I shop based on price and what I can afford. Experts point to the pandemic for causing disruptions in the global supply chain. There are shortages in raw materials and labor, ports backed up with shipping containers waiting to be released. All this as demand for goods is sky high. This is a recipe for delays and for higher prices. Today, President Biden said addressing inflation is a top priority. He committed to stabilize the supply chain, allowing funding for ports to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He says major retailers are signing on too. Walmart, Target, and the leading freight movers, FedEx and UPS. They assured me that the shelves will be stocked in stores this holiday because they signed on a 24-7 as well. Biden now needs to get Americans to believe him. This as his approval rating continues to drop, sitting now at 42 percent, mostly over how he's seen to have handled the economy. Meanwhile, Canadians too may have to brace for sticker shock. As the U.S. demands more products, as U.S. prices go up, that influences prices globally. We're going to be seeing higher inflation prints here in Canada for quite a long time. A painful prediction for consumers who are already paying the price. Never miss a delivery when you use the Amazon app. No more waiting at the window or listening for the door. You'll know. Year before, not only is that an acceleration from the elevated prices, prices surging more than they have in 30 years, and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. CNN reporter Matt Egan, he's live in Paramus, New Jersey this morning. Uh, Matt, the October inflation report just released. Tell us about the data and what's behind this. I mean, how much of this is the comeback of the economy post-pandemic? Well, Eric and Jim, uh, this is a historic inflation report and is landing just before the holidays. Now, everyday Americans are getting squeezed by higher prices, and unfortunately, the numbers are all moving in the wrong direction. Consumer prices were up by 6.2% in October from the year before. Not only is that an acceleration from the elevated levels during the summer, it is the highest gain in one month since November of 1990. Now, month over month, prices were up by 0.9%. That is more than double the rate in September. And no, this is not just about gas prices. If you strip out food and energy, core prices were up by the most since August of 1991. Now let me walk you through some of the individual items, particularly electronics that have gotten more expensive due to surging demand, supply chain issues, and computer chip shortages. Look at computers and smart home assistants up more than 8%, televisions up more than 10%, washers and dryers up nearly 15%. Now, some electronics have actually gotten cheaper, smartphones in particular, they're 20% cheaper than a year ago. And I should emphasize that these are national prices, not necessarily what you would see in individual stores like the one I'm in right now in Best Buy. Best Buy says that for its perspective, inventories actually look pretty good. That's because they've been working with partners. They've actually been chartering their own ships to bring stuff from overseas. Um, but I have been talking to some shoppers in the last few days, and uh, they do sound some, kind of frustrated about higher prices. Here's what one of them told me. You know, I, I'm a bit frustrated uh, that prices are up. Uh, I think with so much competition, you would expect them to be lower. Uh, so it, it, it's quite frustrating with all the money being funneled into free money into the economy, just causing inflation and everything. So, you know, with that comes higher pay raises for my employees uh, and higher operating business expenses for my business. So it is quite frustrating, but, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakah Kodesh. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. 
Yahweh Shai, so the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, pretty much I just woke up not too long ago, but um, I had this video prepared since like two days ago, you know. And um, pretty much America is experiencing inflation, which is turning into hyperinflation. That's why meat prices are soaring, all right? Gas prices are soaring, and the prices for goods are going up. And it's going to continue to go up even through 2022, going into 2023, all right? This hyperinflation is not going nowhere. And what it's really doing is weakening the dollar, all right? Which the dollar, since 1913, has been devalued by 96%. If you watch, you know, my other uh, video on GMS Kadosha Part um, 10, you know, I did a video on that, you know, bringing it up. So I went on Google and I typed in, what's the difference between inflation and hyperinflation? Hyperinflation is a term to describe rapid, excessive, and out-of-control general price increases in the economy. And that's currently what's going on with meat prices, and that's why gas prices are going higher and higher. Every single time you go to put um, you know, gas in your car, if you drive, you're going to notice that the price, it keeps gradually going up. You know, 10 cent here, 20, 25 cent here, you know, 50 cent here. Is going to continue to go up because what Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man in his sea line, according to the Bible, they're the ones that's trying to stage, you know, a famine. You know, they're the ones that is coming up with these um, plant endemics, you know, concerning this disease outbreak. And really what they want to do is ration the food to depopulate the people and to control the people. Because they want the people to rely on them. They want the people to get that um that um jab. That's what they want the people to do. So they know that a lot of people is not complying with their New World Order agendas. So they have different measures that they plan to take in order to get the people under control. So that's why you see this currently going on. And this is all prophesied in the Bible concerning Babylon the Great before the great downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. So it says, hyperinflation is a term to describe rapid, excessive, and out-of-control general price increases in the economy, while inflation is a measure of the pace of rising prices for goods and services. Hyperinflation is rapidly rising inflation, typically measuring more than 50% per month. So the normal price of an item, what you're going to notice is if it's 50 percent, meaning if it's double the price, then that's hyperinflation. It just continually keeps going up. All right. And that's what Venezuela was experiencing. And now that's finally here in America and it's going to get worse. All right. That's why they stopped those cargo ships over there in the West Coast. See, all of this was planned and designed you know, by the elite banking families, which are Edomites, all right? This is something that they stage. They know exactly what they're doing. Everything that's happening in society is according to their agenda and ultimately the most high's agenda, all right? Now, this is an article I found. This is from CNBC. It says, big business bosses are warning that supply chain issues and inflation are here to stay. So I'm not going to read all of this. You know, you can check this out. I'm just going to go to the main parts. So it says key points. Companies around the world are battling supply chain bottleneck as a post pandemic spike in demand coverages with industrial production struggling to catch up after lengthy COVID induced shutdowns. So that's what's going on. All right. Because. These restaurants and these different businesses can't get the exports, you know, from other countries. That's hurting their business. So what they're doing is to try and make up for that lost money that's trapped on the, the ships concerning the resources that they will sell at their stores. 
they're raising the price of goods because the goods are becoming scarce. All right. What the elite banking families are doing, what the Edomites are doing is trying to cause a famine. You know, that's what they're trying to do. And what they could do is they can declare a national emergency or disaster and they can in, induce some um, FEMA. So it says policymakers across major central banks have largely held the line that the period of high inflation in their respective economies and the global supply problems feeding into it are transitory, meaning here one moment and then gone the next. Now, let me just scroll down to the 2022 part. So it says it is going to be it is going to be way into 2022. So deep into 2022, which it could last longer than that. And honestly, this is the dude speaking. My belief is managing the supply chain will be something which will be with us for a long time, he said. All right. So this is what's going on. You know, this is a major problem for America, which is Babylon the Great, because they rely on the exports from these different countries. Remember, America is just a big corporation. It's a big cash cow. A lot of the items and resources that's here in America, it comes from another country. So the fact that those ships are trapped over there on the West Coast, that hurts the American economy, and that sends America into inflation and then soon to be hyperinflation where the regular price that you would pay for goods or gas or any type of resource is going to be double and then triple and then quadruple and then 10 times and then it's going to go up, you know, a thousand percent, five thousand percent. That's what was going on in Venezuela. And that's what made the money worthless because people couldn't afford, you know, the resources, you know. A lot of people, they haven't even gone back to their job yet, you know, because they're scared of the side effects, you know, of the app, you know, the, the, the snake venom. So, you know, it's hurting the economy and it's going to send America into an economic collapse. So all of this is prophesied in the Bible. So I typed in on Google, what's causing inflation? Supply is down. And severe global shortages of drivers and other workers are making it difficult to expand capacity or fix other problems, plunging the supply chains. So that's what's going on. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has pretty much indirectly made mandatory this jab. A lot of people don't feel comfortable taking that because of the side effects and they don't want to go back to work. Because in order to work for majority of these major companies, you know, you need the yab. You know, you need you need the jab. So they don't want to do that. So this is hurting companies. This is hurting the American economy. That's why the Lord through Jeremiah said what? That this place can't be healed. So it says, so they can't break free of the thick mud they're in. This creates a shortage of products. That's what's going on in the West Coast concerning the cargo ships. All right. Because like I said, America relies on the exports of other, of other countries. And since America can't get that, and because we're going through this current, you know, um, disease outbreak, all of these factors are hurting the American economy, which is going to send America into an economic collapse. It's going to go through inflation right now and then soon to be hyperinflation and that's why you're going to see crime go up people are going to be robbing each other and invading one another this is what the scriptures talk about because people are going to become desperate so it says this creates a shortage of products getting through that limit competition causing price increases so expect all things that you would normally buy Expect the prices to go up because we're in those days of Jacob's trouble. Now, I'm going to read this. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse. I'll start at six. It says, flee 
out of the midst of Babylon and ultimately you flee mentally by how? By renewing your spirit, you know, watching the great millstone videos if you're an Israelite, you know, the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native American Indians that's been scattered through the four corners of the earth. So it says flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Now, the one that was going to be able to deliver us is who? Yahweh Shai. And how is he coming? By the way of the so-called UFOs to deliver the believers of the nation of Israel. All right. The elect or the remnant. So it says, and deliver every man his soul. Be not caught off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. And this is what's getting ready to happen. All right. You're getting ready to experience what well, we getting ready to experience Jacob's trouble. But the difference between the believers and non-believers is that Yahweh, the God of Israel, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, he's going to be with the remnant or the elect and protect them during these times so that they don't fold, you know, during the hour of temptation and Jacob's trouble in the time where this is made mandatory. Because this all all these things that's going on, you know, fake famines and stuff like that, all this is leading up to making this mandatory, what you see on the screen. All right. So it says he will render unto her a, week, a recompense. And this is what's going on with America. All right. The Lord is destroying America, which is Babylon the Great from the inside out, you know, destroying the dollar slowly. And then ultimately the whole entire economy. And then he's going to physically destroy it by the way of the thermonuclear missiles, by the way of Iran, Russia, and his allies, as well as the nations that's a part of NATO and the EU. They're going to turn on America because they realize being a part of NATO, they realize that they don't have a say so, that they're following the orders of the whore that sitteth upon the beast. So they're going to realize, look, there's no benefit in me being a part of, you know, this pact. So then they're going to launch missiles sooner or later. So it says, verse 7, continuing on, Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, have made all the earth drunken, westernizing, you know, everybody, you know, just being wicked. America being the beacon of wickedness, having all these nations commit fornication with the whore, meaning following the customs and the way of the whore, which is America. Democracy, its religion, and so forth and so on. Being sodomites, you know, feminism. So it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, through the philosophies, you know, religion, it's democracy. And who's ruling over Babylon the Great? To make the people drunken. Esau eat them. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad. Because they realize that. Following after America. Is leading to death. They see how America. Which is being ran by Esau Edom. The so called white man in the sea line. That is destroying their country. Alright. Having a central bank. And a federal bank. Is destroying their country. They're trying to fight against. The control of Esau Edom. And they ultimately they're gonna launch missiles on this place. That's why they created it. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her to take bone for a pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So the Lord doesn't want to heal Babylon the Great. Because this Babylon is talking about is America. So America doesn't want um yeah, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he doesn't want Babylon the Great, which is America, to be healed. That's why it's being destroyed from the inside out. The dollar's being weakened, and it's going to go through a financial crash, an economic collapse. But soon it's going to be global, because they want all countries to agree upon a one-world currency, which is going to be programmed on this chip here. This is the end or be all. <laughs> So it says, yep, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. 
how for her to take balm for her pain? If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So the Lord doesn't want this place to be healed. It doesn't matter what presidents they elect. They got business history. It, it doesn't matter. You know, every president, every man or, you know, since this place is wicked or woman that becomes a president, the Lord is going to put in their spirit to keep on passing spending bills and the past bills. That's going to add on more debt and then destroy this place. So it says forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. So that's what's going to happen. These heathens that come here and they open up laundry mats, they open up their different restaurants and stuff of that nature. They're going to realize, look, the dollar has collapsed. You know, there's no money to be made here. We made enough money. Let's go back to our country because this place is done. We, we already milked it enough. It says for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And that's what's going on. You see nothing but wickedness. You know, the, the TV shows, the movies, when you out and about in the street, you know, just working, you see nothing but wickedness. Yep. So that's pretty much it with that. Now, let me get this. This is Isaiah 24 and 10. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And we get into that point. You saw like a sneak preview of that between 2019 and 2020. You know, all the roads were empty. A lot of stores was closed. Now it's going to get even worse because they're saying that the people that took the jab, they're the ones that's going to spread, you know, this thing that's going on, this disease outbreak, which is complete BS. It says there's a crying from wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, because in order to enjoy yourself, you got to pledge your allegiance to the beast, which is NATO and the EU, Esau's power structures on the planet Earth, by getting that jab. And if you get that jab, it could be fatal to your life. It says, and the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. So this is what's currently going on. All right. Hyperinflation. It's going to take place soon. The dollar's going to collapse. There's going to be an economic crash, you know, and during that, they're going to implement martial law because the cops are resigning, you know, firefighters. So it's going to be chaos in the street. Expect crime to go up. Expect a lot of people to start getting robbed, you know, more. Just, just start expecting this. All right. Everything that you see in a movie. Concerning like the end times and the economic collapse, that's going to become a reality soon in the form of Jacob's trouble. So Lord willing, you know, you was edified. Shall